intuition and I am here to do your daily guidance your daily spiritual message your daily reflection all right understand that even if you do not see this on Thursday and you see it on a total different day a total different month than the month we are in understand that this is a timeless message meaning it is meant to find you or for you to hear this message whenever it shows up in your life it is never too early it is never too late there is only right now that is all that we are focusing on because we know that in the current moment is where we house our power where our power you know we can really tap in and use our power okay to really create the things that we want to see okay and to forget the things that we don't okay (laughs) so my love muffins this message that i have to give you is so very important to me today um, whenever you receive this message. This is truly a message of letting yourself know job well done, all right? This is a message from your guides, the divine, your angels, your higher self, okay? Wanting you to know job well done done all right that yes right where you are is where you are meant to be that you should be so proud of yourself okay from where you came from where you are going and where you are at take a look around you inside you in your mental space in your heart space, in your spirit, in your soul, you are truly different. You're healing, you're blooming, you're growing, you're glowing. And this is something to stop, take a day, take a moment to appreciate that, to congratulate yourself because energy don't lie, honey. And I know what you have overcame And can we be honest, what a lot of you have overcame, what you have overcame, yes, you, most people, and it's not to judge them, but most people would take their lives. Most people would throw in the towel. Most people would give up. Most people would condition themselves. Most people would stay in that place. But every day, you are making a sound decision to move forward, to keep going, all right? And I want to pass this message down to you that somebody somebody gave me, all right? And it simply says, stay bold. Never be afraid to be yourself. And this is truly what you, yes, you that are watching, this is what you are truly embodying. Okay, and I want to take today to congratulate you. I want to take the day to love on you. I want to take the day to say thank you for not fucking settling. Thank you for putting yourself first, your needs first, your wants first, your desires first. I want to say thank you for saying fuck fear and continue to go, continue to push through, continue to dance with your dreams. I want to just honestly thank you for being the beautiful soul that you show up every day all right and be in spite of what may be going on okay around you you're showing up for yourself all right you are showing that light shining that light so brightly all right you are helping others turn on their light okay so i really want you to thank yourself hug yourself love on yourself 
Because by you being in alignment, by you really just, oh, deciding, making a decision, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to fight for what I desire, what I want. Do you feel that power that is in you? That power you are radiating out into this earth, touching other people's lives. We, me and you are merely a reflection of each other, of what we deem as good, if you want to place something on it. <laughs> All right. But really love yourself. And even as I was saying that, <clears throat> my throat chakra wanted to close up. Yes, you, you, job well done. Yes, you deserve to throw yourself a party. Take a look, take stock of inventory of where you were. I know sometimes we like to throw those judgments, oh, there's more that I can be doing, but no, sit in this moment and see all the beauty that is surrounding you, that is inside of you. You are talking to a person. You know, I had, to, I had to come back to reality. You were talking to a person that spent majority of her life like dressing up the outside of her life but on the inside I was dead and I felt like shit. You understand me? And really in my life, on the inside, I feel just if not more beautiful on the outside. You get what I'm saying? It, it's matching each other. You grab me? You ever seen that picture that floats around the, um, the internet? Where they have like the banana peel, it's all with the diamonds and it's so beautiful, but the banana is rotten. You get what I'm saying? Guess what? Now, no, the banana outside peel is beautiful and the banana, the banana is good. I found a picture like that and I'm like, I'm gonna make a caption. When you've been healing, you know what I'm saying, doing what you gotta do and your outer beauty matches your inner beauty. You know, I finally found the picture, guy. You know, I think I'm gonna put it in here to this daily guidance so you can see. I finally found a picture where someone was smart enough to dress up the the banana peel with the diamonds outside, okay? And the banana was beautiful. That's you, boo, that's you. You feel me? <laughs> that's you. Every day, you are focusing on your healing. You are focusing on coming out of your comfort zone. You guys are so freaking amazing. And I need you to know that. And yes, I spent five minutes talking about it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, and that is what today really wants you to know. Stay bold, you beautiful soul. Okay, stay bold, you beautiful soul. Uh, job well done. Be proud of yourself. Okay, so I also want to talk about something that is going on in the cosmos. Okay, because remember I told you yesterday there's a lot going on. <laughs> I didn't know, but Spirit told me, you know, the Spirit God Maya was letting me know that there's a lot going on in the cosmos. And there's a lot of things going on in the planets and the, all that stuff. So what I want to talk about today is that Pluto is um, retrograding, okay, and it says it started April the 21st and it ends on October the 3rd. OK, and this is why this particular planet doing what it's doing. It's so it's so very important, I feel, to a lot of us, because it says this is um, a time for a major life transition. And remember, I told you there is a new phase, a new season that all of you beautiful souls are entering. All right. Um, and it says this retrograde, um, illuminates the need to release anything harmful and out of alignment and brings in harmony, inner peace, health, and transformation. All right. What you need to expect. All right. It says emotional, mental, and spiritual renewal. Okay. And regeneration. It says incredible opportunities, replacing every disappointment, incredible opportunities replacing every disappointment okay Let, come on I think we should be done right there right <laughs> I want to keep going because it says the elimination of whatever has been holding you back easily letting go of whatever has already let go of you we know what that's about them relationships honey all right deuces uh-uh, we're not doing that. You know, I've been talking about that, period. Oh, we're not doing that. We're not settling. That's not what we're doing. You think, 
all this work that I'm putting in myself, all this self love that I am just bathing myself in. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Every day making a, um, a conscious decision to clean up my shit and look at it. You really think I'm going to settle in life? When it comes to love, my dreams, what, what's in my reality? Oh, no, honey. <laughs> oh, no. We're not doing that over here. No, 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 no. It says dissipation of anything superficial, outdated, and unfulfilling. Meaningful and soulful connections and amazing possibilities. And I truly believe in my heart is this is because you've been taking and listening to spirit, the signs and wonders that have been showing up and bop, 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 knocking at your door. You have truly been doing that. All right. You, you, you got it. You get it. Okay. And I was brought back to something that was so freaking important to me. This is from somebody that I follow on Twitter. I always mess up her name, but she's so big on Instagram. I freaking love her. It says in 2019, soul missions are coming to the forefront. We can no longer self-sacrifice by just working for a paycheck. That is a lower dimension 3D temple. In 5D, we create and live with passion. We follow our heart's truest desires. Work becomes fun. This is where we are headed. This is where a lot of you, and that was in January. So a lot, like I said, a lot of you have pulled away. There have been ideas, things that has been, you know, sitting in that little beautiful soul of yours and you are getting all worked up and oozy about letting it come out. Okay. <laughs> That's what's currently going on. So I just wanted to give you that reminder. Okay. That you can really congratulate yourself. Don't overwork yourself. I know sometimes we, we feel like there's so much more we can do, but no, your, your ass did it a lot. I'm telling you, you're, you're really out here living. You're really out here healing. You are really out here in alignment and where you need to be. So you can congratulate yourself. Okay. Congratulate yourself. So I went ahead and pulled the overall energy of today. Okay. And we have the Knight of stones. And when I, when I see this card, okay, to me, this is all about reconnecting with your freedom. Okay. Your freedom. All right. You are on a journey of being free in every avenue of your life. You want to taste of freedom. OK, and I really feel like that freedom involves the seven of stones. OK, all right. Healing this inner healing that you've been doing. All right. And just continue to do that healing. Continue to love on yourself. Continue to see the beauty in yourself. Continue on this road of affirmations, meditations, you know, the law of attraction, pouring all that good shit in you. Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks. You get what I'm saying? All of them, all of that. Oh, pull all of that in you. Keep pouring all that in you. I promise you, because it's, it's right here. The six of bowls, this is what you're sitting in. This is what your frequency is. Abundance, claim it, say it, write it down in the comment section. My frequency is abundance. All right. Say that. Write it out. Spelling, spelling. <laughs> All right. Those, when you write things down, this is why I love writing things down and important because when you are spelling things out, you get what I'm saying? Spelling, you're casting spells. You get what I'm saying? So when you are writing, you know, those beautiful things about yourself, about your life, what you want to see, you are spelling it. You're spelling, you're putting, you're casting spells, honey. You, you a good witch. <laughs> I went ahead and pulled, um, you know, what, you know, spirit needs from you today. I really liked when I did that yesterday and I really liked doing it with this, this wisdom oracle tree deck. Okay. So I wanted to do that again today, you know, um, in this current moment, right where you are, when you watching this, what does spirit need from you? Okay. In this moment. So the first thing that spirit needs from you, um, we have Sugi. Okay. Hope I said that right. But anyways, um, anytime you see the blue in this deck, all right. This is dealing with your roots. Okay. This is rooted in being, meaning you. 
All right. This um this tree also represents sacredness, okay? Because this is a very ancient old tree in Japan. And um what this card is talking about, it says someone's behavior is troubling you. Perhaps you feel that they should be behaving differently or you don't understand their motives. Try to raise above the difficulties and to see their true spiritual nature instead. Um, instead, I said instead. Okay, so when I hear that, what I want to let you know, and I'm hearing it very clearly, is you have to understand. Not everybody is going to agree with the way that you do things. They're not going to like it. They're not going to understand it. But that is not your problem. That is not your worry, okay? That's no neither here nor there. What is important that in spite of you continue to be you, that you don't back down, that you stay bold. Do you understand me? Because when dealing with something yourself, when it comes to you, there should be places that not everyone is allowed in. I'll give an example. I seen something, okay, guys? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. And then I was like, I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to talk about it. I just don't feel like that's worth my time. And I just, you know, went my business. But you're talking to um, a person that for a long time, um, I just really gave everyone, anything, my attention, my time. I let them people in whatever conversation they were talking about or whatever. I just, I just allowed everything to be dumped inside of me, cared about everyone's opinion, how they perceived it. What, you know what I'm saying? It outweighed me sometimes. It outweighed me majority of the time. Let's keep it real. You know, probably all the time. And, um, right now, all this healing that you've been doing is that you've been healing places that you have allowed people, places, things, situations, thoughts, words to get into. Okay. You you're healing those meaning you, when you do that meditation, you're taking all of that shit that's been dumped in you, all of those thoughts, all of the, all of those things. Okay. And you clean them out. So guess what? In turn, that became a sacred place. You learned from last time that you just can't allow people's opinions and how they did things to be a way that you, you do things or you can't allow certain people in your life. Okay. And you have to not apologize about it. Okay. Flow in love, love them. Okay. But at the same time, you cannot let someone else's fear or someone else's views stop you from being you. That's just, that's just not what we're going to do, you know? And if anyone has a problem with that, you can, you can gladly send them, um, well, you know what? Tell them Tori said so that no, you're not going to let them dictate your life anymore. And you can gladly send them over here to guided intuition. It's okay. Okay. You have, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you have my permission, but I need you to stand tall. I need you to this sacred space that you are creating, all of this healing, why? No, we're not letting those thoughts, we're not letting those those beliefs come in because they're not your morality, okay? And where you are right now, and I know I was talking to a beautiful soul of mine. Oh, she probably, she probably watching and she knows what I'm talking about. And um, she has an amazing um, big platform, okay? And we all dealt with it. We know we have our circle of friends that get spirituality, you know, get us with our oils and our crystals. You know what I'm saying? Like we vibe. But then we got some of them, you know, people like, what is she doing? <laughs> you know, and it's kind of like we kind of like dumb ourselves down, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't, you know, because it's like, oh, yeah, you know. And right where we are right now, there's no more dumbing ourselves down. There's no more playing it small. There's no more, you know, hiding. It's it's out and about with it, you know. So, um. You know, that's something that she was working, that she's working on, not playing small. And I told her, you're not the only one. It is places where it's time for Tori to go to, y'all. And guess what? I'm going and I'm going boldly. All right. <laughs> and I need you, to, you know, you to do the same too. stand boldly. OK, all of that healing, all of that sacredness, that, that cleaning that you did in your sacred space, in your heart space. Listen. Don't feel bad, you know, because if you're an entrepreneur and you and you left your job and people not understanding what you're doing and they looking at you like you crazy, it's okay, baby. 
Love them. Understand you were once there in their shoes. It's okay. And if they want to stay there, allow them flow in love. Okay. Understand the only reason that they may be commenting is because, you know, they don't understand it, first of all, or you may be projecting something that they truly want to do, but they haven't got there yet. So instead of, you know, you know what? You the mess. Send them light and love. Even someone that's, you know, playing with your feelings and cheating. I ain't saying be with they ass. No, that ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they don't, they haven't, they can only meet you as far as they met their self. That means they're, they're, they haven't met their selves. You get what I'm saying? If they're angry, mean, bitter. So what you do is you send light and love to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't dwell on it. Don't put your ass over in that situation with them, but don't dwell on it. You know, send them light and love because we've all been there when we've been avoiding healing, when we've been avoiding these things. All right. But you don't got to let them all in your space. You feel me? (laughs) All right. Because we can't be dirty enough. We just did, you know? Okay. So the next thing that spirit needs from you, I'm not even going to pretend to say this tree. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I think I don't say it, but I I don't want to butcher it right now, but you feel free to Google. Okay. (laughs) But again, um, you know, we know that we're dealing with the roots of us. Okay. And it's really focused on being, being you. The meaning of this, um, card is solidity. Okay. And, um, I wanted to go get the definition of that. And it says the quality or state of being firm or strong in structure. And as you can see from this tree, (laughs) how mighty it is. And the meaning is, are you feeling boggled down by worries or difficulties? Learn to focus your attention on whatever is most important to you or to the situation and don't dwell or do don't dwell or dilute your power by concentrating on trivial matters. Okay. So what the divine is needing from you being what we just talked about over here with the should tree. Okay. It's time for you to stand up and be bold, be solid in you, be solid in your beliefs. Be, sh- you know, what's best for you. All right. You know what's best for you. Stand solid in your truth. Okay? Stand solid in your truth. Stand solid in your truth. Because when you truly did what you wanted to do, when you truly, you know, didn't have any outside influences, you didn't do it because the better of somebody else, but when you truly honored yourself, the shit felt good. And there were some some amazing things that happened in your life. Okay. So spirit really wants you to know, stand solid in you. Okay. Don't let other things penetrate what you're doing. Stop you from the path that you're on. Keep going. You're right where you need to be. You know, what's best for you. (laughs) All right. You know, what's best for you. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your internal guidance system. Listen to the clues and the wonders, you know, that the universe is giving you because you've been doing it. And guess what? It's been doing you damn good. Damn good. Cause I can feel in your energy. Energy don't lie. All right. But it's when we let other people's thoughts, opinions, and things and situations come into our sacred place that gives us wavery and moving. That's when we like, Oh, I don't know. I don't really know. No, you know, go forth. Do what you desire to do. All right bold you beautiful soul (laughs) all right so let's just see what's going on okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn these around it's telling a story okay it's telling a story for us today okay all right all right we're telling a story okay (laughs) so um what like i told you reflecting back to you okay i'm really seeing In your life with the two of arrows dealing with injustice, there's been a a lot of, a lot, a lot of things that you have been through. And like I told you before, things that, you know, most people, you know, would have given up. Most people would have stayed stuck, stayed stagnant. All right. And even with all the struggle that you've went through with the eight of arrows, you get what I'm saying? The five of arrows, all the frustration, all of, all of this. That you've been through. Okay. 
This is currently where you're at. It was well worth the job well done because you have reconnected with yourself. You are reconnecting with your passions, with the six of vessels as a reunion with you. All this healing, it was worth it. All right. The struggle, the injustice, I promise you, because it has truly set you up for some amazing karma. Karma hits both ways, honey, both ways. I will never forget. <laughs> um, it's a little story. Okay. Really short, but you know, so money had got like, I, I was like 16 working. Okay. And you know, we all plan this trip. I think I was like 16 or 18. I can't remember, but you know, I think it was 18 cause it was spring break, you know, and we all had this trip, you know, and we were going down to Miami for spring break and you know, first job working and you know, you know, you want to be right. Your hair done. You got to have your clothes and all that stuff. And I remember I left my wallet cause I worked at auntie Anne's like a pretzel place. And I put my wallet, my bag as I went on break and went shopping cause I worked in a mall and got some stuff and then put the stuff in there. But I left my wallet out and I had $300. My last, I mean, that was, you know, that was hitting. That was a lot. Okay. At 18, that was a hell of a lot of money. And it was stolen. And I remember going to lunch and I, I kind of freaked out and I was crying and I didn't care who I was in the mall y'all on a Saturday <laughs> freaking out Sagittarius you know me dramatic um and I was in the bathroom just <laughs> on the floor holding my head like I was going through it and I guess the person seen me and she was like what this lady so sweet older she was like, what happened, sweetie? I was like, someone stole my money and I was going. And I took over the whole story of going to spring break and now I can't go and my hair is going to be a mess. I mean, I went through it, right? So then I had, I knew I had to go back to work. I mean, I had left them and just like went and did my whole thing. But I knew I had to go back to work. So I went back to work, guys. And, um, <laughs> you know, I'm working, I'm working. And then somebody taps me and was like, this lady said, give this to you. Because a kiosk is, I don't know if you, from it's like, it's not a place. It's like in a little, it's in a mall, a kiosk. So... I, you know, try to see what lady he's like, and she left. She said, give this to you. So I opened it. Okay. And it was a card. And in the card, it was $150. And the card, I, I think I threw the card away. But she said, here's good karma or something like that. And that had like really through, you know, really, I was like, what? You know, I was just so happy because now I can get my hair done. <laughs> but, you know, it, and it was it, so I want to needless to say why I told this story. Every struggle, every injustice that you have experienced, I know that it left you a lot of, you know, frustration or hardship. But I promise you, it has really set you up for some fucking amazing karma to come your way. It, this is because you put all this light love, even when people hurt you, in spite of getting even being nasty, you send them light and love. So that has really opened some beautiful things in your life. So I want to let you know right now, just rest. OK, because with the eight of bowls, we have a heart fire. OK, and do you see how they're all surrounded around him in this car? He did the kill like they had to drought with food and you no know, no food was coming in. But he finally, um, you know, got them food and everyone's toasting and celebrating to this person. This is the divine and your guys and your angels and your spirit guys. Ooh, as I said, that four, 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 I'm trying to tell you, um, really doing this with you so you can rest. All right. Rest because what this period that you are experiencing, whatever you are going through, you are emerging out as the butterfly. You are in transition, honey. Okay. And that is truly the message that the divine wants you to know right now on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday or whenever you are watching it. Okay. So I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you for all the love that you sent my way concerning the intro. <laughs> all right. Um, and for all you guys that are really out there hugging trees, thank you so much. My love muffin girl. I love y'all. Y'all, y'all got to follow her. I'm going to link her Instagram, Instagram name in this video. She is so bomb. Like I love looking at her. Like literally she is like the, 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 the mascot. <laughs> all right. For divine feminine energy. It, she, it just radiates out of her pores. I absolutely love her. And she was like, I'm, I'm hugging. The, you always tell us to hug a tree for me. So she sent me a video of hugging a tree and she was just like, yeah, come on, bring it in. Cause it was a big tree and I could feel everything.
everything. And as I said that it was five, 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 I could feel everything that was going on. Like y'all some really dope souls. I hope you know that all of you guys, your dreams are truly a reality. I want you to know that. Okay. And it is such an honor to be a part of your process and a part of your journey. Keep loving, keep growing, keep blooming you beautiful souls. All right. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care. (laughs) 